Well, I've decided to uh, to just cut open my SBC accumulator out of my Mercedes. Turn off the fan here. And so I've clamped it in the lathe and just started. There was a weld around around this, and so I just thought I'd start there and 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 part that off and uh, so right now there's I can feel something in there but as you can see it's 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 kind of a double wall so there's this there's this thick outer shell and then and then there's an inner as well so I'm not quite sure how I'll get that out I kind of might have to just part this off and then, and then maybe this will come out but I don't know what's attached to this on the inside so I think I'll just go from there and I'll see what the best way to... it's probably alright eh? So I'm going to put my part off tool on Okay, seems to have done it. Got a lovely aroma of fresh boiled brake fluid in the shop here now. So where's my first piece there? So there's the, uh, there's that inside that was kind of, you know, sitting like that inside of the uh, inside of the outer shell and it looks like looks like that all that's all it was was just this came down and enclosed this piece so this I guess is just a rubber bladder that um, that must well it's, it expands and then this holds the pressure I guess um, <clears throat> huh, look at that, there's a, there's a hole in it, oh, I'm pretty sure I didn't just do that, but I was getting a, uh, an error code. It's a little warm, but so let's take it over here. Sorry. Okay. You can see it. Hmm. Appears to be a bubble there. You see that? It's leaking right there. Hmm. So it looks 
It looks like there are uh, there are a few little bubbles, almost like a hernia or something. There, 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 and one down there. Can't feel any more. But uh, it looks like this. Right, you can see that. You can kind of see the, the air coming out. Not sure if I can unscrew this. Or... You can see it's sucking air in from that hole. Not sure if this is threaded. No, it's just the dimple on there. So, I don't know how this bladder is attached. It looks to be there's something else on the inside of that. I wonder if I'm going to have to cut it from, from this side. It looks like there's a uh, maybe a friction weld around this perimeter here. So, I guess I'll have to maybe put it back in and this is, I might just try and part it off around this area, see if I can, I don't know, maybe I'll hit it right at that seam. Maybe these pieces will come apart and then I can get at this bladder. But that definitely doesn't feel like they're not in any sort of pattern. It feels like the rubber's, you know, kind of just pushed out or... Um, anyway, I'm gonna have lunch and wash my hands and I'll get at this a little later. I don't know who I'm kidding. I can't eat when there's something to cut apart like this. So, from the part off tool that I made. That's probably 15 feet long. One continuous string. Okay, I think I should be alright with that. Slow it down a bit because it's such a big diameter that the outside is going quite a bit faster. I 
It's like I'm getting close. Hi. Well, there's the extra fluid. What are you making? I'm just taking apart that. Um, oh yeah. Oh, you're on camera too. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 